All right, everyone, this video is going to show you how to set up sections within your class. The whole purpose for using sections would be if you're teaching multiple sections of the same course, so say it's MFM 2P and you have one section in the morning, one section in the afternoon, then uh, you can actually run those courses at the same time within one course shell inside of Brightspace. Uh, but you can also separate the content or separate announcements specific to each of those sections. So the way that you'll want to do that is first you'd go into course admin and what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, we'll enroll the users into those specific sections uh, so you can do that by going down here under learner management and you should have an option that says sections once you open up sections you'll notice here i have two sections section one and section two but if you want to add another section you can just select add section type in the name add it and then you would end up getting whichever other section you have Okay, so now what we'd want to do is check this box off here so that it's going to select section one and two, and then I'm going to select enroll users. Now this is going to allow me to, to go through the class list and decide which students are in that first section, which ones are in the second section, and so on. So I'll just go down the entire class list, add in these students where they need to be, and then select save. Now, the nice part about this is this has now separated my class into this section one, this section two. These students cannot see each other. So students in section one can only see students in section one and the same with section two. Now, that's useful because now if I go to my course home and I go into create an announcement, I actually have some announcements already created here. So instead of just creating a new announcement, I'm just going to edit the announcement we have here. What I can do is add a release condition onto this announcement, which will then only allow a specific section to see that. If I scroll down here at the bottom, I can go create and attach. And then the condition type I'm going to select is under class list and you can see section enrollment. So if I want this to only be available to section number one, I'm going to select section number one and then create. And then notice, yep, all conditions must be met. And that's the condition that they're enrolled in section one. So I'll select update. And now you'll be able to see that this here, this little icon shows that this is a conditional release. So only students from, uh, from section one will see new meeting there. Okay, and you can, what you can do is you can add those to different posts that you have in, uh, in announcements. So if you do put a section restriction on there with the release condition, then only students in those sections that you've uh, allocated will be in there. However, if you don't put a release condition on, then it goes for everyone. So this one, this, uh, this announcement here, because we have not put a release condition on it, everyone in the class will see that. Okay, so if you want to post things to the entire class, then uh, then do not add a section restriction or the uh, the release condition. Uh, but if you do want to only allow certain sections to see it, then add the release condition in. Okay, uh, a couple other places where I think this could be very useful would be inside of content. So if we are looking at content, uh, what you could do is you could have one unit that is basically shared between you know, period one, period two, or section one and section two, I could then also have a specific, um, a specific unit that is only available to section one and a specific, specific unit that's only available to section two. And the way that we would do that again is uh, we'd create a release condition. So on section two, go up here to the three dots, select view release conditions, and I'll go create. Same thing. So I'm going to go to class list, section enrollment, select section two in this case and create, and then save. Now you'll notice here, it's only visible if these conditions are met. So anything I put inside of section two now, again, only is available to section two. Now, what I would suggest then doing, if, if you're using something like virtual classroom to meet with section two and you don't want section one to see it, Unfortunately, the nav bar link is going to show all meetings for all sections inside there. So the easiest way, in my opinion, would be to create your links for virtual classroom directly inside of this folder or directly in the announcements that is section restricted or a section with the release condition. So if I did that, I would go add a uh, notice I'm in section two here and I'm going to add existing and I can select virtual classroom. 
And then I can either schedule a new meeting if I'd like to, uh, which then only the people in that have access to that folder could see. So I can schedule my meeting, or in this case, I'm just going to uh, add a meeting in that I've already scheduled. So now you can see here only the students from section number two would be able to get access to this specific virtual classroom meeting. Okay, and that would be very useful in the event that you are having multiple meetings for different sections. Okay, now you can do the same thing inside of discussions and assignments. So if this, if this discussion is only meant for your period one or your section one, go in here, edit the topic, and now under restrictions of that topic, you can set that restriction at the bottom where you have release conditions. So I can either create and attach, but since I've already created a release condition for both section one and two, I can select attach existing. And if this one I want section one, I'll select attach there, save and close. And now this one, this, uh, this discussion is only available for students in section one. You can do the exact same thing in quizzes and assignments as well. So quizzes would be the exact same thing where you have to edit the quiz and then there's a restrictions tab. With assignments, if we go in and create an assignment and I click on it, edit assignment. Now you're going to see in the top right corner, there's an option for uh, availability dates and conditions. And here is where we can add a release condition in the same way. So I'll add existing because I already have this one created, make it section two and attach. Save and close. And so you see how, how useful this can be where if you have, again, two groups of students or even three groups of students that you need uh, specific access to certain things, you can definitely run uh, classes and, and release that condition or release that content or the announcements via those section release conditions. OK, uh, the one thing is, if you do want this to happen, you will need to get the courses merged. So you will have to uh, contact your TELT contact team here and we will merge those courses so that you can then uh, add all of your students into different sections.